What up Fortnite fam, my name is Matt, and while you might be used to hearing my voice on Fortnite update days, we're trying out something a little bit new. Today we're going to be going over every single epic and legendary weekly challenge in the second week of Season 7, and teaching you how to complete them in under 5 minutes. But before we get into any of that, I'd like to remind you that if you want to improve in time for Arena Mode's return next week, you're going to want to head over to ProGuides.com. From an innovative VOD review system that allows you to improve faster than ever to an army of top tier pro coaches who will give you exclusive tailor-made advice and lessons we've got everything you need to improve at Fortnite fast. With that said, on to the challenges. Our first challenge is fairly simple. You're going to want to search chests at Corny Complex or Lazy Lake. For this challenge, I personally preferred dropping in at Lazy. There were more chests to pick up and no pesky Dr. Sloan or IO guards to worry about. Next up, we're dealing explosive damage to opponents and opponent structures. Explosives can be hard to come by in Fortnite, but this challenge is easier than it sounds because UFO damage actually counts towards your total. All you need to do is head over to Logjam and pick up the guaranteed UFO that spawns there. Then head over to a bigger POI and just start blasting. For our third challenge, you're going to be collecting spray cans from the Dirty Docks warehouses or garages in Pleasant Park. For this one, I went straight to the docks. It's a less travelled POI than the ever popular Pleasant Park, and the warehouses are much easier to get to. Challenge number four wants you to destroy 15 pieces of equipment at satellite stations. So we'll once again be jumping into our trusty logjam UFO. Fly on over to the nearby satellite station, and you guessed it, just start blasting away at anything you can see. I sort of forgot to press record on this one and completed the challenge without grabbing the footage, so just trust me when I say that this definitely works. Next, we'll be heading over to Hydro 16 or Cathy Corner to search for some graffiti covered walls. The Hydro wall was incredibly easy to spot from my UFO and is on the giant dam right down in the corner. When it comes to Cathy, however, I wasn't actually sure what I was looking for considering I had already completed the challenge at Hydro, though it could be these anti-IO graffiti marks over at the bunker in the mountains. Our next challenge will want you to visit different named locations in a single match. Once again, the easiest way to do this is by heading over to our tried and tested guaranteed logjam UFO. From here, you can rotate through a bunch of different name locations, passing through five of them incredibly quickly. Our final challenge from the epic set of challenges is to enter a UFO. Now I'll give you five points if you can guess what I'm going to suggest. That's right, head on over to the Logjam UFO and then simply hop into it. Next up are the legendary quests. These weren't actually live in the game when I recorded the footage and wrote this script, so you'll just have to go on trust until these release later today. First up, you're going to want to head over to the Weeping Woods so that you can interact with a dead drop. These aren't enabled in game yet, but they'll look like little tree stumps and one will be right here where I am now. Next, step onto a body scanner. Once again, these don't seem to be in the game yet, but they can be found at satellite stations and usually spawn in the corners of rooms. Third, you're going to want to chat with Rick, Marigold, Maven, or Special Forces. Rick Sanchez can be found at the satellite station next to Weeping Woods. Maven can be found at the satellite station near Craggy Cliffs. Marigold is out in the Lazy Lake, and finally, special forces can be found at the bunker near Catty. Dealing damage with IO tech weapons is next. The best way to complete this is to drop down into a satellite station and open up the henchman chest or hope for a drop from the IO guards. Speaking of IO guards, your final challenge will be to damage one. Okay, Fortnite fam, those were all the challenges that were added to the game this week. If you want more of these, don't forget to like the video and subscribe with the bell turned on. Anyway, good luck hunting your quests and leveling up your battle pass. I'll see you next Tuesday for next week's update.